please rejoice because the surgeon has arrived. Hi there. Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Yeah. Wow. Your brain is very gunked up. I'm glad you came to us when you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here. Do you struggle with ADHD? Constantly flipping between projects, you can't quite seem to finish one and yet you start another. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to have ADHD to do these things, but um, when you do, it can be very difficult to stick to a task that doesn't feed that ever-hungry, you know, part of your brain that needs that constant stimulation. So, yeah, it's making us miserable, right? I see a lot of unfinished projects here. Allow me to get started, okay? You know what? There's a lot of really old stuff in here. I can see at least that one right there looks to be at least six months old. A six-month-old thought and project. Okay, we have an art project here that seems to be at least three months from my observations. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to apply something, okay, really quickly. It's It might tickle your brain a bit. It might tickle. But let me know if it feels uncomfortable at all, all right? So I'm just gonna... All right, here we go. Um, here on this project seemed to be some sort of aquatic thing that you were to do there. Okay, I did it right there. There's something around. Yeah, see the feel the fizzy. And that is okay for you. It's not uncomfortable at all. its thing. I'm going to take a look, if you don't mind. Closer look here. Okay, so we have a lot of things that once gave us serotonin, right? I see some donuts in there. Do you often find yourself only wanting to eat sugar? Yeah, so things like savory things, they just don't appeal to you. Right. Okay, I think I might see an empty can of energy drink or caffeine. Is this uh, something that you find yourself indulging in quite often? Right, okay. Well, that can often spike our heart rate and add to the feelings of anxiety caused by all these things that are overwhelming us. Although, if you're able to stop, you're a better one than me because I just can't. Alright, definitely seeing a lot of interesting things in here. Are the holidays on your mind? I think I might see an elf. Wow, okay. Well, yeah, we have a lot of decluttering to do, and that's fine. That's what I'm here for. That's my specialty, decluttering. But, um, there's just so much here. Before I start the extraction, we need to do, um, more, just more melting of this whole thing. We need to loosen it all up. So I'm going to take a loosening serum here. Okay, 
Okay. And this is what I'm going to use to get some of those um, more crowded areas to be uh, loosened up a bit. Okay. So I'm just going to grab some here. Everything feel all right? You're feeling okay? I don't want you to feel uncomfortable at all. I know that it might actually give your brain a little bit of a tingly feeling, tingly feeling, and I hope you aren't adverse to it. I doing all right. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to use my finger here to explore where I can feel. Okay, and feel how loose these things are. think that we are about ready for extraction. Okay, this is the most time-consuming part. Um, if at any point you feel uncomfortable, do let me know. But I want to take a look and see what I want to remove first. Actually, you tell me. Is there anything that's been on your mind for far too long that you'd like to chuck out of there? Because when we are focusing on too many things at once, 
we cannot or it's more difficult to focus on that one project that we do want to finish, okay? It's very difficult for us to switch back to a project where we've lost motivation. So we need to get rid of these older ones that you just don't see yourself ever getting back to. Okay, so is there something that you... Okay. Right. You had a project regarding... Okay, yeah. Let me take a look and see if I can see that. Okay. By chance, did it manifest in the form of a gumball machine? Because if it did, I definitely see one. Yeah, there is a gumball machine inside of your brain. Yeah. Okay, well, let's remove it. It's actually pretty close to me. So I will use my fingers to extract it, if that's all right. Okay, hold still for me. Interesting. Okay, well, this project that was burdening you, no more. Got some brain gunk. It's fine. We'll keep. We'll clean you up. At the end, we'll clean you up. Now, set that side there. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna stay on my fingers, apparently. All right. Next. What is another project that you are just so burdened by? Please do let me know. Yeah? Okay. So you visited Disneyland when? Right. And that caused you to start a project and learn how to... Okay, right. So you... Right, that's fine. Yeah, that happens often. We get really excited about something that we visited or that we did or a game that we played and we obsess over history and knowledge and we collect it all for seemingly unknown reasons. Um, and then when we're no longer interested in it, it's just stuck there running around in our brain, huh? And it's been burdening you. Okay, well, let's, um, let's get rid of that. Now, I think I see it. It manifested in the form of the Beauty and the Beast rose. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that, but it is deep in there. So, it's going to take me a second. It's a donut. Look at that. stressing out about the holidays? Yeah, okay. I see that it's been there for a while. There's a lot of brain gunk on him. Right. Oh, you had a thought that you were going to get your 
present shopping done several months early and that never happened oh, okay so you set that expectation for yourself and when you didn't meet that expectation you placed that negativity upon yourself this is actually very common but how about we don't set expectations for ourselves that are extremely high that the majority of people cannot do how about that i'm gonna with that removing of that elf that's no longer a burden okay if you do present if you get your present shopping done a day before christmas well heck that's okay all right what is this about i've been looking at this and it has been causing me a lot of questions this is a beautiful lamp was it something oh okay okay right and that is something i do myself as well when you're bored you go online shopping and create a bunch of lists of things that you would buy if you could buy and then it just gets left in this wish list forever and every single time you go to look at that wish list there it is yeah and it just gets stuck in the back of your mind Manic wish list making is something I do myself, yeah. Especially if, um, say I feel, um, like, mm, disappointed about what I am wearing, and then I go on a big manic sort of wish list shopping of clothes, or if I decide, wow, my house is really terribly decorated, it looks like a bunch of, you know, college students live here, which it does, but it's fine. So I go on a whole list of what furniture I would buy if I could. We all do it, every single one of us. Unless you're like a billionaire or millionaire. I mean, furniture's expensive. I'm serious, maybe even millionaires can't do that. Anyway, completely normal. Let's see. Uh oh, what do we got here? Alright, yeah. This is that frog I was looking at. You were seeing a lot of frog pictures and thought you would do a project regarding frogs? Okay, yeah. It is very difficult to raise frogs. I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't looked into it. But you would know, right? Because you've looked into it. Yeah. So maybe there are some expectations or some projects that it's just really fun to know. And that's really awesome that you spent so much time researching that thing. And maybe you can drop that knowledge at a party and wow some people, which is very cool, by the way. I love that stuff personally. But um, don't keep that expectation that you're going to actually get frogs and keep them as pets. Um, especially not in your backyard, because um, you're going to disrupt the ecosystem. Remember that TikTok? It was a long time ago. Someone put a bunch of tadpoles in their pond in the back, or something like that. And then the whole town was just overrun with frogs. Oh, it was just an ecological disaster, I, I tell you. Yeah, so we have a big obsession with sweets right like you mentioned earlier it's the only thing that you are ever in the mood for in terms of food yeah i get that okay let's see i'm gonna get way in here okay this guy is difficult he's a little, he's been stuck in here for a while huh? okay there we go there
You don't have to tell me what this is. Bunnies are cute. Kinda reminds me of a stuffed animal. Okay. Are you feeling less overwhelmed? A little bit like you can concentrate on your current project and actually finish it? I need to keep going? Okay. Let's, um, so this brain gunk that we have here. It's good to just remove that. Okay. It's just clutter in our brain. Things that we have had on our mind forever that have been burdening us that we refuse to let go. They haven't quite manifested into anything, really. Um, you know, in, for, in terms of an object. Um, that doesn't mean it doesn't weigh us down just as much. Yeah. Oh, this one I can see has to do with taxes. I'm so sorry for bringing that up, but this one, I know it's, um, like, what, four months away? Or something like that. But yeah, this one is, um, Something to do with taxes. Okay. Yeah, well, let's unburden you with that. You don't need to think about that right now. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. Alright. Hold still, please. I have a big one to pull out here. Oh, goodness. What could this be? Uh, a script you half wrote and then never got back to? Oh, yeah. And you spent how long working on it? Far too long? I hear ya. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's get rid of some of this. This one looks like it actually is something. So this one here is one of the many restaurants that you want to visit that you have written down in a Google document. And you don't live near any of them. And you half planned... Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like you half planned some vacations to go to these areas, but none of them panned out. That last step with vacations is very difficult. Yeah. Plus, you have to figure out, you know, what do you do with the cats or the dog? Can't always take them. Okay, what do we got down here? Listen if it's a sore subject. You don't have to tell me. You do not have to tell me. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, let's continue. This guy is actually really cute. Are you sure you don't think you'll ever get back to this project? And be realistic. Tell me the truth. I know every single one of these, we deep down think maybe we'll get back to them, but we also know we never will. Is this one that we should unburden ourselves with, no matter how cute and cool it would be? Okay, we're gonna put that away then. Yeah, listen. You're creative. And that is one of your superpowers. That's awesome. But it doesn't mean we need to finish every single idea that pops into our head. We can pick out the best ones. And sometimes some of the best ones never get finished. 
especially if we spend too much time worrying about them, spend too much time worrying if we're ever actually going to finish them, and just the expectations we put on ourselves with these projects. If it's never going to happen, if it feels better to let it go, maybe we let it go. And I'm proud of you for letting that one go. Okay? Let's see here. Oh, goodness. Oh, a turtle. I like turtles. How? Oh. Did you have some sort of plan that you made to save all the turtles and reintegrate turtles into the environment so that they don't die out due to them becoming endangered? Yep. Yeah. I think from time to time we all think that we can change the world. You know, if only we were smart enough or had the knowledge to. But you did your best. You tried a little bit. I can see it's a little tiny turtle. You tried a little bit to figure it out. Um, but it turns out, you know, you'd have to get a whole uh, degree and stuff. And that's okay. We'll unburden you with that thought that you feel the need to help the turtles become endangered all by yourself. Unendangered. Misspoke. Okay, what I got here? more chunks of small things that we've been worrying about. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a common one. Um, you told yourself you were gonna paint the bedroom? You were gonna paint your bedroom? Yeah. You don't need to worry about that right now. You have so many other things to worry about. Why are you putting this on your list? Why are you putting that on your list? No need. No need. Come back to it in a year or two. Okay. Oh. Hello. Hello. What do we got here? Okay. Alright. I can't really tell what this one is. Yeah. Okay. That's alright. If it's embarrassing, you don't have to tell me. You could share if you want. You tried to learn how to cook and it failed. And that's been weighing heavily on you, trying to relearn how to cook. Well, how are you learning how to cook? Viral Tic Tac recipes? Oh, no, no, sweetie, that's not how we learn. Well, it can be, but um, I think there are easier ways, so do not judge yourself if those didn't work out. Because the majority of the spectacle of the TikTok recipes is, wow, it actually turned out and it didn't turn into some gross mush. I mean, you know in video games when you put the wrong ingredients in and it comes out as dubious food, like in Breath of the Wild? That's what the majority of TikTok recipes are supposed to be, and a lot of them are just presented well. Most of them are dubious food. So if yours don't turn out, it's not your fault. It's the recipe. Okay, oh goodness gracious, this one's really stuck in there. Oh goodness. Is this an expectation that your mother put on you? Oh, and you never wanted to do it, so it just got stuck on the list of things that you had to do. Oh, goodness, yeah, that one. Those can weigh very heavy on us. I mean, not including all the expectations and projects that we put on ourselves to finish and get done. Ones that people unwittingly put onto us and don't realize that it just adds to the clutter of our mind and sticks in there and just overwhelms us day by day. They don't realize it, but, you know, 
what we can do is say, I can't do that right now, I have too much on my plate. Because we want to see, the, the thing is, by doing this, it's not giving up, okay? We're not giving up. What we're doing is we're helping our minds um, prioritize. We are prioritizing the things, like I see you're still working on this one. This one's pretty fresh, so I'm going to leave that one in there, that frog there. I'm leaving that guy there because I can stay, see that you are working very hard on that. So we are going to remove all this old stuff that is weighing us down so that you can prioritize on that thing, okay? If you ever want to come back to these other things, that's fine. You can do that. But, um, for now, it's just mentally so freeing and, and unburdening and just such a weight off of our shoulders to unclutter our minds, okay? Our houses are already so incredibly cluttered due to the inability to organize things to our ADHD, depending on your type. I know I personally find it almost impossible to organize. My brain just doesn't know how to do it. So, can you imagine what my brain is like? Probably a little bit like yours, right? Probably why I became a decluttering surgeon. This one is pretty... Honestly, this one's beautiful. Whatever this... Oh, okay. We're making a mess. Whatever this was, it was a beautiful thought. It was a really creative, awesome idea. You are quite creative. Huh. But we're getting rid of it. Because I see other beautiful, creative, amazing ideas in here that just need a little bit of space. We're making some space, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. One last little look in here to see if um, we've got everything. Okay. So your brain is looking a lot cleaner. So of course, it's always going to look a little bit creative, a little bit like a failed art project maybe that someone had intended to make and it looked really cool in their brain. But then of course, in execution, it just fell flat, kind of like the circle that this was supposed to be. But it's, you know, that's how our brains are always going to look due to the nature of it. Um, but it is beautiful and cool looking, isn't it? And that's just how beautiful your creativity is. And it's almost more beautiful in the fact of its um, chaotic nature, if that makes sense. Its chaotic nature adds to the beauty. I know it can be so incredibly frustrating because we want it to look tidy. We want it to look put together. We want it to be organized like other people's, but that's okay. It's not ever going to be like that, and that's okay. Everybody's different. The inside, listen, I've been a decluttering surgeon for 30 years. All right, I know I look young. 30 years. And not one person's brain has looked the same. Not one person's brain has manifested these things 
in the same way. And that's one of my favorite parts of the job, is seeing everybody's brain. It is so cool. So cool. Okay. How are you feeling? Is there anything else you would like me to get rid of? Is there a, still a burden feeling on your brain? Like you have a thought but you can't quite grab one? Does it feel all jumbled in your head still? Or do you feel as though you are able to clearly concentrate on one now? Or at least one of three? Okay. So you do feel a little bit better? Okay. And that is honestly what we do here, right? Is make you feel better. Well, I'm going to do one last scan to make sure we really did get everything, okay? If you don't mind holding still. scanner tells us that your thoughts are far less jumbled than they were when they showed up and that we see at least two to maybe three clear thoughts that you are able to now concentrate on but one major thought that you can now prioritize well that's fantastic well it has been a pleasure to help you out today and be your surgeon. If you ever feel the need to be decluttered again, please let me know and we can schedule something. But for now, I hope that you have a very good night. A very good night and you are able to sleep unburdened.